Maths at Manor Green. At Manor Green, we use Big Maths to support our maths teaching. All areas of the maths curriculum are broken down into progress drives. This enables us to plot out the small steps that our children need to make in order to achieve bigger goals in their maths learning. We're going to look more closely at early counting skills and how we use the progress drives to support our children's progress. The first progress drive we work on with the children is saying numbers. This is a rote learning stage and a stage where children are just required to say the numbers in order. One, two, three, etc. At this stage, we do not expect the children to understand the value of those numbers. We just want them to be able to say the numbers in the correct order. We love to teach the children how to do this through a variety of counting songs. We particularly like one, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive, five little speckled frogs, and of course, any song that involves eating at the end, five current buns. When the children are able to say the numbers, we can move on to developing their counting skills, and we follow the counting skills progress drive. Step one, I know when to count. We need the children to remember to find out how many by counting. In order to do this, we provide the children with a number rich environment, inside and outside of the classroom. As staff, we give them lots of opportunities to see and hear us counting. We count throughout the day. We count how many children are in in the morning. We might count our steps on a journey. We model counting continuously throughout the day. Step two, to know the last number is the total. We need to remember to listen to the last number said and repeat the last number said, posing the question, how many? How many Tito's were there? 16, good boy, good counting. Step three, to this step is quite difficult for the children to achieve. They need to retain in their working memory the last number that they said. So it can take a while to work on this skill. <coughs> Step three. I can touch one object and say one word. We need the children to remember to say one word as they touch one object. We start off doing this using the gross motor skills, saying numbers as the children skip hop, jump, and then we move on to the children using more fine motor skills, touching counters, coins, smaller objects. Step four, I can do this with a line of objects. We need the children to remember to say one word as they touch along the line. Here you can see Amelia practicing this skill. can do this with a pile of objects. The children need to remember to say one word as you touch each object in the pile, not miss any out and not count any twice. This skill can be one that goes on throughout our lives. Actual counting. 
when the children have developed their counting skills and they're able to accurately count, we start to think a little bit more about the place value and the understanding of each number. And we can measure their progress by the number of objects that they can count.